Greetings of the day everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Universal Forwarder as a deployment client in Splunk. So the way this is going to work is that you have a Universal Forwarder pre-installed in the instance which you're going to configure the Universal Forwarder as a deployment client. So this process is the prerequisites for the deployment server concept in Splunk. So what that means is that you have a deployment server and you can have multiple clients. So the clients which I am going to show you is a universal forwarder. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to configure universal forwarder as a deployment client so that you can just type a code that will be added as a deployment server and then you can follow the data and you can push apps and push data from the deployment server. So as I always say, the code that I'm going to type will be available in my Git. If you want to take a look at it, the process will be also specified in the Git. You just please do check the link in the description of this video. So let's dive into the video. As I already mentioned in the intro of this video, so the prerequisites for this must be an instance where the Splunk Enterprise is installed. So conceptually, you have to consider that as a deployment server. So what now we are going to do here is that we're going to configure the universal forwarder which we have in this instance as a deployment client in that server. For that we're going to go, so now I'm logged in into the backend of the universal forwarder. I'm going to go cd opt slash splunk forwarder slash bin and then I'm going to paste this code. This code will be available in my git. You can check the description for the link. And then I'm going to replace this with I'm going to replace this with the IP address of my okay with the IP address of the deployment server. So once this is done, just when I click enter, so it will be asking the Splunk username, which is when you accept the agreement so configuration updated just to be in the safe side just give a restart so whenever i always say in my splunk videos whenever you specify a port here just make sure to go to the firewall settings of your gcp create a new firewall rule Give this a MG port, which stands for management port. Then all is going to be, we want to be in all instances of the network. And the source be 0.0.0.0 slash 0. And then specify ports, which is 80, 89. And just going to click okay everything looks good okay and we're just going to create so yes so as this is done yeah so the restart is done so this is how you configure universal forwarder as a deployment client so i will add another set of videos which you need to follow in order to send some data or push some app from a deployment server to the clients so I'll just add that video in the entertainment of this video. So catch you in that video guys. Until then, bye bye everyone.